Yo, what is up guys? It's been a minute and uh, I decided to upload to you guys today a small little video of uh, Stormcaller gameplay. And as you can see as the title, this will be a little bit filled with spoilers, so I would stay away from it if you don't want to be spoiled. Uh, from what we pretty much saw yesterday from all the videos, it's everywhere, everywhere on Twitter and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. The Taken King subclasses are pretty much coming back. In a weird way, we're going to be doing some chest farming and all that kind of stuff on the worlds. And we're going to find these relics. I guess these relics will be activating a quest so you can get back your Stormcaller, your Night Stalker, your Sunbreaker abilities, all that kind of stuff. Which is pretty cool, you know. Like I would have wanted Bungie to actually make a trailer of it. That would have been a little bit more badass. Maybe that's what they were planning. Maybe that's what they were planning. So we can't. We don't know if they're gonna actually do. You know. Uh, but it got leaked pretty much. Uh, there's. If you guys want, you can even go on my. And my name is Byfest Channel. He has pretty much even a photo of the subclass icon at the bottom of uh, the left of the screen there. So it pretty much tells you we're gonna get back these class. To be precise, maybe they even change. Maybe the Night Stalker's a new kind of class. Maybe the Storm Caller's even a new kind of class. We not might not even have this, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> like this electrostatic, all that kind of stuff. We might not even have the Ion Blink. The Sunbreakers might have even a different, total, different kind of like super. So we don't know yet, you know, we have to like be patient and wait for it, you know. They, they did say that once the game would come out, we would be full of surprise. So, people are already spoiling us. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay, because I, I like to be spoiled. Like, I, I'm the type of person, I want to see these things, I want, and I want to experience it at the same time. So it's not destroying my, you know, the pleasure of playing the game and unlocking my storm caller again because if you guys know this didn't know i'm a storm caller guy i love it i uh, man some people are gonna hate me you are gonna hate me but i'm a storm caller guy i just love the movement the melees the super all that kind of stuff i love it dude yeah you comp you don't get strong nades and all that kind of stuff but the storm caller has always been my favorite class and uh so yeah, like, well, at one point it was a Sunbreaker. You guys, like, look at that. There's two montage of Sunbreakers, pretty much. But after I went to the Stormcaller and just had fun with it, I, I never went back. It was just too fun to play with you. And, uh, so I hope that in D2, they make it fun. I hope that even Night Stalker is fun in D2. It might even encourage players to have a Hunter, because... All, uh, many of my friends were even planning to have double warlocks or double titans, not even having a hunter, dude. That's how bad the hunter was in in the beta, in my opinion. When I played the beta, I played the hunter, I was like, nope, I'm gonna have two warlocks and a titan. I was like, fuck that shit. There's, there was no PvE Enough. subclass. You know what I mean? Like, PvP, you had the golden gun, you know, it's always gonna be lethal. The, that new uh, Arc Strider, it, it's okay. I mean, it, it wasn't anything special, but it was okay. I sponged that hammer there. God damn landfall, man. Woo. But at the end of the day, I can't wait for it. I'm happy. I'm super stoked. If you guys are, leave a like. Thunder snipe that like button. Please thunder snipe that like button. Make my day. Put a smile on my day. Um, put a smile on my face, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Much love.